Hello guys I wish you a warm welcome to Usitility. Well we are on the way to see how to launch and play star slots on your PC, here you are able to display it on your screen. We will be able to simply download and install star slots so that we can enjoy the game on a Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and large monitor. Then without further ado, let's go buddies. First of all buddies, to start we have to launch our favorite internet browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type anything, because there's the link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. We arrived at this point on the website of Usitility, at which we get a meticulous information on how to download and install star slots on PC. We browse lower a little bit and just click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we arrive here on the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to play star slots on PC. As you can discover here we access a great deal of advantages of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the star slots by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on this button. And the download step takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the computer. We have clicked yes. I reduce the web browser to find the installer better. The installer is quite simple. It contains two possibilities, install, and setup path. I am going to make it clear what setup path truly does. We simply simply click on it. Therefore we realize that we end up with here the path where the emulator can be set up. If we would you like to vary this directory we have got to click on the browse option, so we select another folder and install the emulator specifically where we want. To keep it simple, just keep it by default. Then, I click on back. So I just click on install. Voila! The install begins and it's going to progress with the download of all these MB that are represented on the computer screen. At the time you download it, it might possibly be a little more or less MB. The download speed might go at a higher speed or slower, based on your internet and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator servers. At the moment they're progressing quite fast. The download is done, then right now it continues with the setup phase. The setup is going to take more or less time based on the power of your machine. The more efficient it is, the faster the setup time and or vice versa. If we combine the download and setup step it may take quite a while, so be patient. It is now finished on my side. At this point, the emulator has actually been started immediately. As you will notice, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right so when it has reached the finish, the emulator will be started for the first time. The fact is the emulator has been started, here for the very first time. Before we carry on, as now you can see, it has made two app icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is the only one we are concerned about. Anytime we are planning to start star slots on our laptop or computer, we double click on this specific icon and as a result launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon isn't related to multiplayer or even anything such as that. The reality is, it is an software icon that we will certainly never ever make use of. We should conduct the following step, that is a must have, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. Right here we must log on. At this time once we're there, we must absolutely accomplish this following step which is imperative. So we mouse click on, sign in. At this point it announces, checking info. It could in some cases get stopped at, checking info, and this fails to advance. If that's the case, you may attempt to log in and after a number of hours and it'll usually be solved. At this point we can insert our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email address and its matching password. For example you make use of the very same email you're using at this time in your own YouTube account. So I am going to type my information and I will come back after I have accomplished it. That's all, info typed in. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We should accept them all by clicking, I agree. After that, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You could keep it checked and this will build a backup of your data on that device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can utilize that option if you desire. We click accept. Google Play Store is started automatically and immediately. 
To set up the app game, we would need to browse the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this app icon indicated in green. Today that we are discovering the desktop of this Android emulator, we can see that we now have there the install application button. We then click on the button. Right here we come with the game app. Let's quickly mouse click here on the install choice that I am just highlighting now in green color. Therefore it will launch the software installation. At present it is going to install the game app. It may take quite some time or it may possibly be amazingly quickly. It all varies on our internet access. It has actually completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this particular button I'm highlighting in green, if you want to start star slots for the first time. Shall we click or double click on that my games option just above? We're presently on the emulator desktop, then we're on the way to simply click on the brand new star slots icon that was created. This game app is started for the first time. Here we have it, I am able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume level of this emulator. This is here, we use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we do not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we could activate the big screen, for which we have two choices. That is simply the first one, we just click on that icon which I'm pointing out in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. Assuming that we choose to have fun with the video game using all the screen, we click on that game icon. And we might at present be experiencing the gameplay in full screen function. To quit the full screen functionality, push the F11 key. And we might now end up being in standard screen setting. At this moment I am on the way to demonstrate to you the computer keyboard mapping and that is actually surprisingly enjoyable. This strategy we will certainly be ready to operate the game far more easily. The first thing is to click this application icon. It's now time to get the required setups. I will let the standard configuration, though if you like to improve this, you can also do this without any problem. As you can notice, the emulator is fully in our own language. Occasionally it occurs that the emulator is presented in the improper language, for example, in Japanese. Then to set it up in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. Then right here inside of additional configuration settings, we simply click on the language drop down. We are able to select the language we want, Italian, Chinese, and so forth. After the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, and the video game, next time we run it, would also be in the picked language. At present, you can find another information that we will need to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Google Mail saying that a completely new device has been connected with this Google account. It should check with us if we are the individuals who have connected that device. Absolutely, we shouldn't get worried, because the emulator is acting as an Google Android electronic device. And then to determine which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we come back here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. So we browse here to the model choice. And right here we realize that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for that training. I hope that you liked it, especially that everyone found it informative. If that's the case, bring it a superb like, subscribe to my channel, and any feedback, questions or suggestions, let them in the comment box below. You can also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams every once in a while, you get it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Check out any of those video tutorials that happens to be appearing on the screen and let's have fun again in the following videos. Bye.